Hi everyone and welcome to our ECG tip series. This is Hisham Ibrahim. I'm one of the emergency medicine consultants in United Kingdom. And today we're going to cover our ECG tip number three. And it will be about the ST depression. So in the previous couple of tips, we talked about the isoelectric line and we talked about the T waves. And this time we will know um, as well that ST depression on its own is not enough when you look at an ECG. You need to look a bit further and describe it with more details. So the ST depression can be upsloping, like this example at uh, number eight uh, in here. So upsloping ST depression, it can be downsloping and it can be horizontal. The upsloping one can be normal but it also can be abnormal. The downsloping one and the horizontal ones are usually abnormal. So these are three different shapes of uh, ST depressions. There is a fourth one, like this one. So if you're gonna describe this one, yeah, there is an ST depression because the J point is below the baseline. Uh, the ST segment is downsloping followed by T wave inversion that is big compared to the complex size. When you see this pattern, this is really scary. This is usually um, an ischemia related ST depression and it can be the reciprocal change of an ST elevation somewhere else in the ECG. So if you're faced with a downsloping ST depression followed by an inverted T that is big and symmetrical, be scared and be meticulous about ruling out STEMI somewhere else in the ECG. And then we're gonna move on to the final shape of ST depression and the most important one, which is if you're gonna describe what you see here, so we've got an ST depression in the ECG, the J point is below the baseline, the depression is upsloping followed by a tall symmetrical T wave. When you see this pattern, you know what this is. This is a de Winter sign, and you have to uh, know that the coming one is going to show a STEMI. So the Winter sign is one of the pre-STEMI signs that you must be aware of. And again, ST depression, upsloping, followed by a tall symmetrical T wave. ST depression, upsloping, followed by a tall symmetrical T wave. Again, depression, upsloping, tall symmetrical T wave. ST depression, upsloping, followed by a tall symmetrical T wave. When you see this, you should expect the STEMI coming. You should be scared. This is a STEMI that you're looking at, but still in the ST depression phase of it. And this is it about our tip this time. So I hope you find this use useful. Thanks a lot for your time listening to this, and uh, I'll be talking to you very soon. Stay safe.